Hi Aquarius. So welcome to June. We're going to do your reading super, super intuitive because um, even though there's a lot that's going on with the planets and all of that, I, I feel like the biggest thing that you need to know is that everything's going to be okay. You're not being ignored. You're not lost. You are <clears throat> kind of in a place of closing out things, chapters in your life um, in order for you to gain other things that are coming. And you're not really going to, you're not really going to accept that or acknowledge that it's there or see that it's there until it's right in front of you. Um, it wouldn't have mattered had I done this reading 10 days ago or 10 days from now if it, if you aren't seeing what is happening right in front of you or if you're not seeing the changes that are happening in front of you, the, even if they're really small changes, if you're not seeing it, you're not going to believe anything I say anyways. Like that's literally how things are working for you right now because Chiron is sitting in your third house, which is the communication house, right? Um, and there's so many things that you want to believe and you want to say and you want to go and do and act on, but there's this wound that's holding you back from allowing you to, to voice your opinion or to say what you need to say. So right now, it really isn't about <coughs> your future and what you're going to do in your future. It's really where are you aligned in your present and what are you presenting to other people in your present? What are other people presenting to you? What are the wounds that people are communicating to you that you aren't um, wanting to acknowledge or there? Honestly, is really, that's, that is the biggest feeling that um, came on to me this morning, like right before I was doing your reading and I was doing my meditation and I, and, cause I'll sit in silence for about five minutes, five, 10 minutes before I start to redesign because I want to get in touch with how you guys are feeling. And I can tell you that as you close out certain chapters in your life, you'll look at me and you'll say, but Betsy, I have closed out all those chapters. I have cleaned up my life. I have organized everything. I have made a plan. I have, but I'm not seeing anything come of it. That's because you're not recognizing that closing out all of those chapters is something that came out of it. That organizing your life, that feeling that freedom, that feeling a little bit fresher every single day, that going outside and breathing in the air, in and out, in and out, that's a win. Because you want to see the really big things. You want to see, but I've been telling you for a really, really long time that those big wins are a whole bunch of little wins rolled into one. And the win that you think that you want, quote unquote, right? The win that you think that you want and the win that you are actually going to get are going to be two completely different things. But again, because you are who you are, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because I think Aquarian minds and just the way that Aquarius is think, I mean, you guys are brilliant. But if you overthink it and if you allow yourself to sit in a spinning wheel in your head over and over and over again, wanting this and wanting this and wanting this and wanting this and not getting any of it, then you think you've lost it all. You see where I'm coming from with that? So I have the two of wands and I have the world. And I want you to recognize that in these cards, this guy here is literally holding the world communication, travel, making decisions, closing out cycles, ending chapters into in your life, allowing yourself to actually make these decisions and not just say you're going to make the decisions or not just say you're going to make the plan, but doing it and putting yourself out there and accepting what's on the other side of the door or accepting what's on, what's, what's on the other side of the world, if you will. And what is that? Being recognized, the six of wands, standing up for yourself, rising above all of the things that you guys have been through in the last year or so, <clears throat> shows up 
whether it is in a negative capacity for you or whether it's in a positive capacity. Because you could have lost everything in the last year and a half. And you can either look at that as that's something that I was supposed to lose all of that because I was making room or God or source or the universe or whoever was making room in order for all of the winds to come. You could have gained a lot of things in the last year and be completely miserable right now because that is what you manifested to happen in your life, but it's not what your soul wanted you to manifest. Because some people can manifest all the things, all the really good things, <clears throat> and bring it all into fruition. Sorry, my allergies are off the chain right now. And for those who are saying, you know, eat your local honey for the allergies and stuff like that. <laughs> I've had allergies my entire life. I'm actually drinking lemon honey water with local raw honey. Thank you very much. I drink like four cups of lemon honey water every single day. So it helps with the vocal cords too. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and you're trying to bring into fruition, don't rush it. And when I say don't rush it, even if you've been waiting for a year or two years for something to come into fruition may, and it hasn't happened yet, maybe it's not time. Because when you try and rush something in your life, you have, you have uh, an opportunity to ruin the whole picture, ruin the whole idea of it. Because you didn't think things through, right? You didn't make the steps. You want to have some out. You could be dealing with a Libra in your life, a Libra that might be a little bit hostile right now. A little volatile, a little hostile, a little not too happy. Um, and I think the reason why, if there's some hostility, if you're hostile towards this Libra, or if there's some hostility towards some kind of situation that you're not seeing as you want it to come into balance, but you're not seeing it balanced, I feel like it's because you don't really have all of the information or you don't know everything about the situation yet, and that's why you're a little bit angry about it, or that's why you're a little upset about it, whatever that situation is. And again, you're not really going to understand and you're not really going to see everything clearly until it's right in front of you anyways, and why is that? It's because you guys have such a great imagination, such a great imagination, that you will think up something to make it look the way that you want it to look, and then if it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to look, you think that that's not the reality of it. Because you have this clear idea, like for example, you have this clear idea of the kind of relationship you want to have with somebody, okay? You want to have the home, you want to have the love, you want to have blah, blah, blah. And you've made all of this happen in your mind already with a particular person. And when it's another person that shows up into your life and it's nothing like the particular person that you've thought of, whether you know the, per the particular person or not, or whether you've just kind of dreamt up an idea of the kind of person you want, another person shows up in your life and it's nothing like what you thought. It's nothing. And this is just an example. This could happen with jobs. This could happen with environments, family, doesn't matter. Whatever situation, my whole point is, is you guys will get so set on the story that you've told yourselves that when the real thing shows up and it doesn't look like the story that you've told yourself, the way that you want it to look, you think that that real thing isn't actually real because you've, you've convinced yourself that it's something else. And I'm not, and this is like just, I'm not throwing shade. I'm not like shading you guys in any way, shape, or form. What I'm saying is you have such an amazing imagination. You can actually manifest that reality. My point is that you have to leave space for the universe to work because the universe wants to bring you the reality of it and not just the pretty picture that you made it up in your head. 
right? Does that, I hope that made sense. I know that I kind of convoluted it a little bit, but with you guys, I know that I can be real and I can tell you exactly what I'm seeing or what I'm feeling from you and you get it, right? The things that are coming to you, my dear Aquarians, please be patient for them. You could be waiting on a Sagittarius. We have temperance here. You could be waiting on a Sagittarius to make a decision or you're trying to make a decision on behalf of the Sagittarius, but I feel like it's going to affect your future in a way. So the patience is necessary. Like you have to have the patience when it comes to the decisions you're making in your life right now. So let's see the world. Yes. Thank you very much. Every time you close a chapter or a cycle in your life, you shift the energy in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's in a really, really big, massive way or whether it's in a really, really tiny way. My point of that is, is you're opening doors. Stop trying to shove open the doors that are locked, that aren't your doors to open. Stop trying to knock down the doors or stop knocking on the doors when it's not your door. And how do you know it's not your door? It won't fucking open. <laughs> you know, it won't open. <clears throat> so you, if it doesn't open, then you don't need it. <coughs> Try door number two. It probably has something much better for you behind door number two. Might be a little bit more difficult to get. You might have to move some things out of the way once you open up the door. But that wheel of fortune on top of the world is saying the energy is shifting. Every time you patiently make a decision and you allow the universe to work with you in your existence, in your life, the energy shifts. And you can close a chapter and open up a new one. Let's look at the six of wands because I do feel there are some opportunities that are coming your way that are going to be amazing opportunities. Now, this is not going to show up and smack you over the head. You're still going to have to go out and work for it. You're still going to have to do the things that you need to do in order to guide yourself in the direction you need to go in. You still need to listen to your intuition, but the universe again is saying there are doors that you have tr you haven't tried yet. There are doors that still need to be opened. And the only reason why you won't open them is because it's the wrong color to you. It's the wrong color. It's green instead of pink. It's yellow with white polka dots instead of just plain blue. Just because you don't like the way the door looks on the outside doesn't mean you're not going to like it when you open it. Right? So allow yourself to let the universe work. Everything's happening for you in divine timing. In fact, really amazing things are happening for you. But again, you're not going to believe it until it clicks in your mind. Because you have an idea already of what you want to see. And if that idea, you have that set in your head of that idea of what you want to see, and that doesn't show up when you open up the door, you're going to close that door right back up and not give it a chance, or you can say, all right, universe, bring it. I understand. I get it. Let's do this. Even if it's a little bit more difficult than what I thought it was going to be, even if it looks a little bit different than what I thought it would, I'm willing, I'm open, I am an open vessel, let's do this. Right? Okay. Let's see what justice is. Ah. So it's either a Libra or a Scorpio, but there's a transition that's happening here, and it will bring karmic retribution for you. You know? That death card does not show up easily. There is a transformation. There is some shifts and transforming that it that will be happening you just have to open your eyes up and believe it knight of swords yep 
I feel like you guys really, you're so anxious to find out what this Ace of Wands is. You're so anxious to find out what this Wheel of Fortune is going to bring in your life instead of just allowing yourself to not rush into, you know, this is like that Knight of Swords there with the star on top of it. That Knight of Swords is the one that's, that's like banging his head into the doors that refuse to open because they're so locked. Because they're locked down. So what you have to do is slow, slow your roll a little bit there, Aquarius. And when things aren't going exactly your way, I know the anxiety can be real. I, I know. I get it. Um, I feel like you just aren't seeing everything. With this moon here, it's almost like uh, you're trying to see what's in front of you, but because it's dark, you can't really see it. There really is a very heavy Libra energy, and the thing about it, you're not seeing that you are the Empress. Even if you're a man and you're watching this, you can still be the Empress or the Emperor can go either way. <clears throat> but the Empress is somebody who can do anything. But the reason why she can do every, anything is because she believes in herself, she takes care of herself, and she relies on her intuition first and foremost. And in the dark, that's all you can do. When you can't see everything clearly, all you can do is rely on your intuition. Um, the problem, Aquarius, is I feel like you're stuck in the arguments of it all. There could be a Pisces that you're arguing with, with the Hanged Man and the Five of Wands. But if it's not a Pisces, I feel like the internal and external battles that you continue to get yourself into, that's what's going to keep you standing still. That's what's going to stop you from moving forward. So don't engage. Don't engage with the self-critical talk. That's what I talk about in my, you know, when I do my one-on-one -on -one coaching alignment sessions with people, we discuss the self-critical talk. And we discuss the roadblocks. The blocks that you, because when it comes down to it, you're the one that's blocking yourself from abundance. It's nobody else. It's not anybody else's fault. It's not the husband's fault. It's not the relationship, the spouse, the significant other. It's not the job. It's not the lack of a job. It's not any of that. You are the one that's blocking yourself from abundance. Why? Because you keep on opening or you keep trying to open the wrong doors. And when those doors don't open, you get really, really angry about it. And you're like, but that's the door. It's painted the right color. No, no. Just because it's a pretty shade of red doesn't mean it's the right door. There's another door right down the road that's cracking, that's peeling a little bit. That's the right one, but you refuse to open it because it looks a little shady. Right? See what I mean? You're the one that's blocking yourself from the celebration. You're the one that's blocking yourself from the abundance. You might even be putting up personal boundaries to friends. You might even be blocking out the people that you love the most or your friend group because of this. Because you can't be patient enough to wait for the right time for something to happen. The Four of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, King of Wands could be a fire sign in your life that you have to make a decision about. If there is a fire sign in your life that you're trying to make a decision about, uh, I want you to sleep on it, honestly. Like, I really do. That four of swords, if you are trying to juggle, like, what do I do about this person in my life? The way that you get the answer is in silence. Sometimes you already know what the answer is. You just don't want to hear what the, what the, you just don't, you don't want to hear that answer because that's not the answer you want. Again, you're trying to open a door that looks really pretty on the outside. <clears throat> oh, 
even when it looks like you can't go any further, keep moving. Keep moving forward. The Six of Cups is at the bottom of the deck here, and I wanted to look under it, and it's the Emperor. Keep moving forward, and the reason why I'm saying with the Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and Three of Wands for you to keep moving forward because in the face of adversity is when we realize our value the most. And we realize when other people, who, who else values us. In the face of adversity, we realize and recognize who values us in our life. More than anything. But that Four of Pentacles is suggesting that you might be holding on to some things a little too tightly and then maybe lying to yourself that you're not holding on to it too tight. But I'm open, Betsy. I'm an open vessel. I'm an open vessel. Are you, though? Or do you keep on trying to open up those one particular doors that have not been working for you for a very long time, and now you're faced with all of the doors that are chipping and cracked that you had avoided for so long because they didn't look pretty, because they didn't look right? that make sense? <clears throat> I love you guys so much. So I am taking personal readings right now. I have a few 30 minute readings. I'm also doing the one-on-one -on -one alignment sessions. I am also doing like emergency readings and I have this new thing that I'm kind of trying where um, I'm doing one, you know, like when I do my pop-up lives, I do one question for 30, for $30. Um, I'm going to do that, but I'm doing it in video form. So, because sometimes I really want to be able to be there for you guys and like give you a super discounted reading. And that's why I like to do the pop-up lives, but I don't have time to do it this week. So, um, it says on the website that it takes up to 10 days for you to get your reading done, but that just kind of gives me a cushion. It's actually taking a lot less time than that. It's usually like three to five days before you actually get your reading. So, if you're interested, the one question reading for $30 is available. There's only a limited amount. This is kind of a trial run to see if I like it, but I really wanted to tell you guys about it and let you know. Um, so, yeah, I love you guys. Have a wonderful June. There are some amazing things that are coming for you. I just want you to open up your eyes and be able to see it. I don't want you to be cynical. I don't want you to be skeptical. I don't want you to worry that it's not the right thing for you. So stay open, Aquarius. I love you guys. Bye.